Oh, we are back on Taste and See Tampa Bay. Now, it may be a little difficult to get brunch reservations this close to Mother's Day, but if you are looking to celebrate with mom at a later date, here are some of our favorite brunch spots that, well, you need to try or add to that ongoing list that Tay and I were just talking about. Exactly. Well, this first one is a classic in Tampa. Oxford Exchange is a one-stop shop for brunch, drinks, and shopping. This multi-use space features a tasty restaurant serving up weekday breakfast and lunch, weekend brunch, and afternoon tea under a sunlit conservatory, creeping with vines and a retractable glass roof. After your meal, make sure to check out the amazing bookstore, Warby Parker Glasses Store, the Champagne Bar, yes, you heard that right, <laughs> Nancy Gift Shop, Buddy Brew Coffee, and Tabella Tea Company. And over in downtown St. Pete, Social Roost features an array of chicken dishes in addition to the usual brunch menu items. You can enjoy chicken and waffles with bacon butter and smoked maple syrup, as well as their chicken pot pie with puff pastry crust. Now let's not forget the Tasty Craft cocktails. Brunch is served on Saturdays and Sundays. Cast Social in Soho, Tampa offers Southern food with a twist. The brunch menu is available from Friday through Sunday until 4 p.m. And it features items like chicken and waffles, deep fried French toast, Nashville hot chicken, and more. Plus, handcrafted cocktails and an impressive whiskey selection. But honestly, they had me at bottomless mimosas. <laughs> what is brunch without mimosas? Right? And if you are looking for a delicious brunch spot in Dunedin, the living room on Main has a great selection. The menu features an eclectic mix of items inspired by world cuisine. Plus, the restaurant has plenty of comfy seating in a relaxed yet upscale dining room. Enjoy savory omelets, sweet beignets, and much more. Brunch is served every Saturday and Sunday from 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. And last up for our roundup, you can grab Sunday brunch at a Buddhist temple in Tampa. Wat Tampa is a Buddhist temple that offers outdoor Thai food market on Sunday mornings. Over a dozen vendors serve up all types of authentic Thai cuisine. You can park your car and place an order or get your food through the drive-thru. There's plenty of picnic tables to grab a spot and enjoy the food with the view of the Hillsborough River. I mean, you can't beat any of these brunch sprouts here. Uh, you know what? I was not smart, though, doing this segment with an empty stomach. Not the smartest exactly. thing. I'm sitting here talking about all these food, and I actually hear some grumbles happening. Same. We may have to do brunch then. After deal. This, get some food. Deal and deal. <laughs> and you know what, too? Of course, we were sharing with you some of our favorite places at brunch. We also want to hear from you guys at home. What are your favorite spots to brunch in Tampa Bay? Just let us know. Leave us a message on our Facebook page and shout out actually to uh, Mothers in West Chase. That's our Mother's Day spot. I mean, name Mothers, very apt. Get it there. Exactly. That's a good spot to check out. That's perfect. See, mother's Day, mother's Day. <laughs> well, and uh, speaking of cool places to eat, it is time for What's New Tampa Bay. And the latest cafe in downtown St. Petersburg feels like you're walking into a black and white comic book. <laughs> Two Day 2D Cafe is a black and white two-dimensional cafe and Zach Perry is going to show us how this new eatery and art gallery is really a trick to the eye. <laughs> two-dimensional cafe and eatery that just opened in downtown St. Pete's Grand Central District. And this restaurant is one big optical illusion. Sitting in this cafe really is like being in a piece of two-dimensional art. One where you can enjoy plenty of pastries and croppins. Hi, I'm Alexandra Campbell and welcome to the 2D Cafe. Obviously when you walk in, it's kind of a trickery of the eye. You know, it's like the inside of a comic book. And we want you as the patron and the food to be the art, which is our slogan here. So all the schematics inside are black and white. It will appear flat. I promise you can actually sit on most of this furniture in here, if not all the furniture, so don't be afraid. We we are Instagram and social media friendly, no doubt. People come in here all the time just to snap a quick photo. We have some props available, some, some 2D backpacks and some fun sunglasses that you can put on and have fun with. We have a couple empanadas. Uh, the avocado toast is probably one of the most popular items here. We also do an open face salmon toast, different pastries, chocolate croissants, regular croissants, quiches, croffins. But yeah, hopefully we have something that appeals to everybody. We want you to feel welcome and, and again, submerge in everything that we put our hard work into. And it was a overzealous idea to open up a white and black coffee shop, but you know what? Somebody needed to do it, so I'm glad it was us.
can find this amazing cafe in downtown St. Pete on Central. It's actually located where one of Soiree's old locations used to be. It's open from Wednesday to Sunday, and you can enjoy a variety of pastries, muffins, croppins, coffee, and more. And still to come, instead of giving mom flowers, why not show her you care for Mother's Day by spending the day with the flowers? We're taking you to Marie Selby Gardens after the break.